great and beautiful people of God. Welcome to my channel. This is Blessing Abuna TV, a great channel full of God's word. Prayers, prophecy, word of knowledge. Here we have the whole Bible on audio playlist. Subscribe, touch the bell. Stay with us. You're welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what God wants me to share with you. Joyce pray drop in my heart to share this scripture and I'm going to be sharing with you. That's from Acts 28. Let me read from 2. And the barbarous people showed us no little kindness, for they kindled a fire and received us every one because of the present rain and because of the cold. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, there came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand. And when the barbarians saw the venomous beast, Hang on his hand, they said, and mother says, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom true he had escaped the sea, yet vengeance suffered not to live. And he shook off the beast into the fire and felt no harm. Albeit the loot when he should have swollen or fallen down dead suddenly, but after they had looked a great while and saw no harm come to him they changed their minds and said that he was a god praise god let's stop here in this place paul was in a different place hallelujah and this place they were kind to them but it was cold and rain and they gathered some fire to help them to be warm and a beast came out from the fire a snake a dangerous poisonous animal and then stick to Paul's hand. And from what, from what they were saying, that kind of snake, when it, it sticks to somebody's hand, the poison will kill the person because they were waiting for Paul to die. They were like, oh, no wonder. Because Paul just escaped a, a danger before coming to that land. I said, no wonder. He's a murderer. He's a bad man. Even though he escaped the sea. Now look at what's going to happen to him. Vengeance is still pursuing him. So they were waiting for him to fall and die. But Paul shook the snake to the fire. They were still waiting for him to fall and die. He never died. It was not harm. Hallelujah. They changed their mind. Say, hey, he said, God. Hallelujah. Do you know there's power in Christianity? Do you know if you're a Christian, you're not an ordinary person? Well, we are not ordinary people. We have power in us. The Holy Ghost in us is greater that it is in the world. We should know that and be conscious of that. I pray for you today in Jesus' name. Mataka Basiketa. That every danger, everything that's come to kill you, to destroy you, God will give you the strength and the energy and the power and, and the consciousness of the Holy Ghost that you have in you. You, you, you remember and you shake all that thing to the fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will shake that's not a fire. Anything that any danger that comes your way, God will energize you to shake that thing to the fire. God will help you to always be conscious of His presence in your life. That you're a powerful person. You have power. You're not ordinary. Anything that have come to kill you, whether it be sickness, whether it be disease, anything at all that will come your way that is dangerous. I pray that you will shake it to the fire in Jesus' name. And as you do, I thank God, but you have a testimony. I pray for you. Those that say bad things about you, that say, oh, look at this bad thing that's going on in this our life. Look at this challenge. You must be a bad person. The same people, we, we see God's miracle in your life. We see God's testimony in your life. And they will change their mouth. They will thank God with you. They will change your mind. They will say, oh, come and show me your God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mata kaso turubo sekete. Everyone will be gossiping you, barbiting you, because you are, you are going through a challenge, because of one thing or the other, because of anything. Maybe because you are not married, because you are sick, anything at all, they'll be back, back to you behind you. I pray that the, God will do a miracle in your life. You'll be saved. you have a testimony, a very big one for that matter. And the same people will come again to change, to send them and say, Hey, come and show me. How did you do it? What God did you come and show me your God? That'll be your testimony in Jesus' name. You'll not be a laughing stock. All those that are preparing to laugh at you, organizing that are going to laugh at you when the thing is sick. Because they feel that something is on his, on his way, something is on his way. Their laughter, their, their planning will be suspended in their mouth. Jesus' name. 
the laughter of your enemies will be suspended in their mouth. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As the Lord shows mercy. As the Lord shows you mercy. As the Lord delivers you and saves you. The laughter of your enemies. The laughter of friends that, that are false friends. The laughter of people waiting to laugh at you. In anything at all in your life will be suspended. Because God, because then we see the power of God at work. Then we see the miracle of God in your life. Then we see victory. Then we see everything turn around for your good. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. We see the prayer for you. Receive it. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you richly. If you are not born again, what are you waiting for? Give your life to Christ. Say the prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, today I come to you. Be my Lord, be my Savior. I believe that for me. We were buried. The third is from the dead. Lord Jesus, I'm now yours. God in heaven, thank you for sending your son, son to die for me. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. If that prayer was said by you, you are now born again. Start going to a Bible teaching church and stay with us here. Subscribe. Touch the bell. I will see you next time. God bless you. Bye.